I'd like to make a couple of comments. Uh, we've been working as a 20 with the young people at the train school for uh, going on almost eight years now. Um, and it is, I mean, it's my opinion, it's that this, this law is going to get overturned. Um, but then what? Uh, that's my concern. And we get all excited because they put some barbaric law in place and then uh, it gets repealed and then the question is what, happened, what happens after that? Um, there was a point where the training school was attempting to go out and create, reduce the population of the training school and get the kids out in the community into group homes sooner. Uh, and yet, it was very difficult to find people in the community or a place that was willing to create the group homes in the community. So, although I appreciate people's passion and angst about all this, uh, it has been my experience that it's difficult to find people even in the community to help support these young people. And there are opportunities to mentor, uh, to buddy up with some of these kids as they get out. Uh, and it's also something kind of telling when somebody said, well, we have enough money, we can send them to URI. Why not Brown University, frankly, uh, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, the, the one more comment about all of that, and, and again, I'm going to reiterate, my concern is that, you know, we repeal the law, and then what? And then what? And then as a community, what are we doing to help support these young people? Um, uh, one thing that kind of crosses my mind is that there's been a lot of assessments and evaluations and discussions about best practice and what it's going to take. We know the challenges. We know really well what some of the challenges are with some of our young people in terms of reading and writing and just job skills and competitiveness in the job market and these kinds of things. We know what we need. Um, and when they start talking about costs, it's because our politicians think in four-year terms. They don't think in terms of generations. If you want to really assess the cost of not intervening in the lives of these kids over the long term, you can't even measure it. Because it comes back to us in the communities and we pay over and over and over again. And I'm sort of of the conviction that you kind of figure out what the problem is, you figure out what you need to do, you put a price on that, and then you go get the money. We have had no problem finding money to support a war in Iraq. And to the tune of billions upon billions upon approaching a trillion dollars and trillions. And so, uh, money's not an issue, it's will. It's absolutely will. And it's not just, and putting all the blame or the position on, it's, obviously this is barbaric, but putting all that responsibility on these politicians, um, I haven't found that people in the community have been altogether that responsive in trying to mentor and help support some of these young people, frankly.